The Bonneville Cutthroat Trout Restoration Program began in 1999 when the park developed a fisheries management plan with two key points. One was to restore the native trout, Bonneville Cutthroat Trout, and the other was to provide opportunities for visitors to do some recreational fishing. At that time, it was believed there were no Bonneville cutthroat trout in the park. So the park was beginning with scratch. And the, the first thing that happened was an inventory of all the park streams to see what fish were there. And to everyone's great surprise, one of the park streams turned out to have a pure population of Bonneville cutthroat trout. First, you have to find sufficient habitat for the Bonneville cutthroat. Some of the parameters that are needed are deep enough water for the spawning period in the spring, because a lot of these streams do freeze during the winter, so you need some deep pools where they can hide out. Also, it has to have very good water quality. So after a good stream is found, then fish that are currently there have to be removed. And then after recovery period for the aquatic insects, the Bonneville cutthroat trout were reintroduced. In 2001, the first fish were moved from Mill Creek into another park stream, South Fork of Big Wash. And then over the next few years, more and more populations were moved and reintroduced into new locations within the park. in an effort to monitor how successful that reintroduction has been, we do a series of population surveys and habitat surveys along the length of the stream um, in order to gauge uh, how the fish distribution has changed and also in order to assess whether the populations are reproducing well and recruiting new members on an annual basis. In order to do the population surveys, we use a standard fisheries technique, which is called a three-pass depletion survey, where we use an electrofisher um, to capture fish along a set sample reach. And we do three passes through, count the number of fish that we collect on each pass, and then use a statistical estimator to get a better estimate of the exact population size in that area of stream. We also measure their lengths and their weights, and we collect genetic samples by taking a small clip off of one of their fins. Today, there are five populations of Bonneville cutthroat trout in the park, and they are in five of the six streams that originally held Bonneville cutthroat trout. So we're very excited to have Bonneville cutthroat trout in so many different places, and the population surveys show that they are reproducing very well and that their numbers are increasing much quicker than we thought.